Okay, the whole thing is 59. It wants to know what is x, what is ef, means this, and what is fg, that means this. Okay, so the segment addition postulate says if you take this chunk and this chunk, it will equal the entire chunk. Okay, we are given the entire chunk length. So we can say ef, okay, um, is 8x minus 14 plus fg, which is 4x plus 1, will all equal the entire segment, which is 59. Brie, what are you doing? Right. Okay, so on the one side, we can combine our like terms. What can we combine on this side? 4x and 8x. A 4x and an 8x to give me 11? 12x. 12. You're right. Okay, and then I still got, so we've used this, and we've used this. So I got a negative 14 and a positive 1. And that equals negative 13. Negative 13 equals 59. Okay, what am I solving for? X. X, okay, so I got a 12X minus 13 equals 59. What do I need to do first? Divide by 12? No. No, wait, minus 13. Close, it's already a minus 13. Plus 13. Plus 13. 12x equals, and I got 59 plus 13. Let me check on the calculator. Clear on math is not the greatest today. 72. Okay, now what? I got 12x equals 72. Divide by 12. Divide by 12. If I do it to one side, I gotta do it to the other side. So x equals 72 divided by 12. X equals 6. Okay, so now we know what x equals. What do we need to do? What do we do with that? So most of you guys can get here and then you get lost like, oh no, I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. Can you plug it in to the equation? So it doesn't matter which one? No. Mm -hmm. So pick one or the other, it does not matter. Okay, so we can work with EF first. So EF is 8X minus 14. And what is our X value? Six. Six. So I really got eight times six minus 14. Okay, so 8 times 6 is 48 minus 14, which is going to be 34. Okay, but what is 34? It's EF. It's EF. So what, what that gave us was that this length of this segment, EF, is 34. And I want you to think about this logically. So you know the entire segment, and you know the one half of the segment. Can you figure out what the other half of the segment is? Why do you think it's 30? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's not 30. Okay, or on the flip side, 59 minus that 34 would give me some value. Okay, I know the whole length and I know this. Okay, so all I gotta figure out is this. So 34 plus something, we don't know what, would give us 59. If not, okay, you can plug in the six in here and solve too, if that works better for you. Like three, you might need to plug in the, the six into this one. So four times six plus the one. Um, okay, so. Um, the other one is just going to be 25. Does everybody understand how we got that 25 or not? Now's your time to ask. You have to play with two days. Mario? Don't say yeah if 
you don't have a break. You know how we got so much wire? Hmm? Okay, so we plugged all this stuff in, so you probably need to do it the longest way. So 4x plus 1. What's your x value? So if PR is 82, okay, if PR is 82, that means the entire segment is 82. It says what is X, what is PQ, what is QR? Okay, what's your first step going to be to do? So for Okay, look at the last one. See what we did first. Okay, the segment addition postulate says PQ plus QR is equal to PR. We're basically adding together those segment terms. Okay, yeah, we are. So I really want you to look at that, though, and think about what I'm saying. Look at PQ, okay, look at QR, and it says it equals PR. Because you really have to understand that in order to be successful. Okay, and remember, this is worksheet was the one that you guys are struggling on, and that's not everybody, but more of you than not, okay? So, what is PQ? Three, what's PQ? Pick true. Six X minus seven, so we can plug that in under here. So six X minus seven, okay, and then I got a plus sign. Mario, what's P or QR? Five x plus one, and PR is what? Say. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. Perfect. Okay. So now we got our stuff together. We can combine our like terms. What can we combine? We can combine the x values. The x values. So I got a six x and a five x to give me an 11x. <laughs> what else could I combine? The one and the seven. The one and the seven, we can combine to give me a positive eight x equals 82. But it's a negative seven, you're saying. Yep, you're right, it sure is. <coughs> yeah? Oh, well, your fault, I wrote down the wrong thing. Why didn't you look and tell me? Okay, so 11x minus 6 equals 82. So now what? Division? One side, we gotta do it to the other side. So now I got 11x equals 88. Then what do we divide? Divide by 11 on both sides. So I got x equals 8. Okay, so we solved our first thing. We know what x is. What's the next question that it asks us? Look at the very top of the instructions. It says. Yeah, so, but we're trying to find what? PQ. PQ. Okay, that's the next question. We did the first question, we needed it. So, PQ. And what is PQ's equation? 6x minus 7. And Brie, what's our x value equal? 8. So, we're going to plug it in. So, 6 times 8 
minus 7 is going to be 48 minus 7, 41. What is 41 though? PQ. Okay, so we can label that here. PQ is 41. Okay, for those of you guys that can do the shortcut way, do it. Okay, if you didn't understand how I got the shortcut way, do the next way. So my next question, and I'm going to do it the long way up here, would be QR. Okay, so I got QR. And my QR value is 5X plus 1. Okay, and I'm going to plug in my 8. 5 times 8 plus 1. 41. 40 plus 1, which is just 40. 41. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to click today. Mm -hmm. Since they are both 41, what can you tell me about these segments? Um, Starts with the C. They're congruent. They are congruent segments. Okay? The reason that they're congruent is because they are the same. And what can you tell me about Q? Q has a certain name. Starts with an M. So you have 41, and then you hit a point, and then you have 41. It's midpoint. Yeah, so Q is actually the midpoint, okay? So this question kind of worked out kind of nicely. So congruent means the same. These are the same length, okay, which means that Q is exactly halfway in between. So Q is the midpoint, okay?